to the demonstration of QuickTime TV. Phil? Hi, Steve. Thank you. Uh, QuickTime Force is doing incredibly well. We've seen so much response from customers to seeing the best content on the Internet. Uh, let me start with, with the thing that really kicked it off. As Steve said, I'm sure many of you have watched the Star Wars trailer done exclusively in QuickTime. If some of you out there aren't in the 25 million or so people have watched it, I'm just going to give you a brief glimpse of it. You can see the quality that no one else has ever delivered with content of video over the Internet. not condone a course of action that will lead us to war. A communications disruption can mean only one thing. Invasion. The quality is just phenomenal. If you haven't seen it, you can still go download it, add up to those 25 million users, and see video that nothing else delivers. Now, there's a lot that's been going on out there, and people have been doing things all by themselves and we're just finding amazing content on the web. For example, I'm going to click on a link now that goes out to someone else's website. It's Weird Al Yankovic, the musician. Yep, and he's done his own QuickTime movie, and he's streaming it right now from his web server. Depending on the traffic to his web server. Let's try one more time. If anyone knows Weird Al right now, <laughs> we'll try one last time. There we go. Oh my, my, the Tyrannican guy. Maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye. Saying soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. Soon I'm going to be a Jedi. Did you know this junkyard slave? There's not time to watch the whole thing, but that's coming. Yep, it's coming right from Weird Al's site over the Internet. Nothing local here. Now, Steve mentioned we've got a lot of great content. There's a lot of great content out there. And with QuickTime TV, you don't have to scour the Internet to find all of it. We build in channels right into the QuickTime player, and all the user has to do is click a button and start watching great content. So, for example, BBC. This is coming from London, live news, 24 hours a day, playing up on the Internet. Now, again, it is live news. I have no idea what they're broadcasting right now, so we'll just watch and see. Muhammad will now be seen as having made the right choices. I think much depends on the measures that Malaysia has taken to rebuild its economy whilst the doors were effectively shut on the outside world. Uh, it's actually taken some pretty drastic measures, for example, to streamline the banking sector. So that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, live news with people like BBC and Bloomberg Financial broadcasting over the QuickTime TV network. Or perhaps I want to go and check people like Fox or ABC doing some very exciting things with both Fox and ABC. We're using interactive features of QuickTime, taking technology from Macromedia's Flash, interactive animation, and streaming that. This is streaming animation right inside the video channel that allows us to have interactivity. We can get video and news on demand. For example, well, we can check out the Clintons on vacation. It looks like a campaign, and it sounds like a campaign. I've been from one end of the state to the other, and I'm going to be back many times. Cool. Now, maybe you're not into politics. Some of us aren't. Some of us are more into sports. So, for example, with Fox, we now have a sports channel up there. Again, we've got interactive flash content streaming down a front end that allows us dy dynamically pick what kind of video we want to watch. I'm an East Coaster, so I'm curious about Vinny Testaverde and the New York Jets. 
Vinny Testaverde enters the 1999 season with a lot to prove. So what else is new? That's been the drill for Vinny ever since he won the Heisman Trophy and was picked first overall in the 87 draft. The rap was always the same. Too many interceptions, too few touchdowns. But that came to a sudden halt last season when Vinny... So cool, you can watch news, you can watch sports. It's great educational content with WGBH. And as Steve mentioned, we've got a lot of new content coming out with music providers like Rhino Records and Warner. Now this is just coming up today. I'm going to take a little risk here and try a brand new channel out just starting this morning. Warner Records. Live, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, music video channel. And there's a prompt right there on the bottom. Right on the bottom, there's a button that says buy now. I click that, it launches my web browser, takes me right to a page to buy the CD I'm watching on the video channel. Something you can't do on TV. And last, let me end with one of my favorites. My kids really love the Disney Channel. I live in an area of the California where we don't get Disney radio. Here, I can now go into the Disney Channel and listen to Disney radio anywhere in the world broadcasting over the QuickTime TV network. Or perhaps I want to watch a new movie trailer. Hey, here's an interesting one, Toy Story 2. <laughs> Let's watch that trailer. I'll bet it's good. for all streaming over the internet, over the new QuickTime TV. Thanks a lot. Boy, that looks like it's going to be a good movie, huh? <laughs> so, QuickTime. There's a lot going on in QuickTime, and if you're not publishing in QuickTime, we suggest you take another look at it because it's just taken off, and the quality is the highest video and audio on the internet. So next, I'd like to give you a preview of Macintosh OS 9. The next major release of the Macintosh operating system is coming out in October, and it's a biggie. There's over 50 new features in it. And the theme of OS 9 is we want OS 9 to be our internet co-pilot. We want it to do a lot of things for us to really take us places on the internet further and faster than we've ever been and protect us at the same time. So I'm going to show you, since it's OS 9, nine internet power features today, and just go through them one by one, and then we'll show you a few of them. The first one, and maybe the most startling, is, is Sherlock 2. We introduced Sherlock in the last major release of the Mac OS last fall, Mac at 8.5. And it was an immediate hit. What Sherlock lets you do was it lets you type in natural language commands, like you know, why is the sky blue? It would parse those, and then it can distribute that query to any number of search sites on the web, where get them all searching at once, and then when the results come back, it sorts them dynamically and puts them in one window for you. And Sherlock has a plugin architecture, so you can write plugins. Third parties have written plugins. There's over 200 plugins for Sherlock now, for searching almost anything. We immediately started getting questions like, well, could, Sherlock, could we group these categories of sites together? If you have to pick which sites you want to search out of a list of 200, it's kind of a long list. And other requests, all of those we have put into Sherlock 2, and then we've gone a giant leap further. Rather than Sherlock being just your internet